Hey everybody, um, welcome to Terraria. I've already pretty much gotten everything. I'm just gonna make a few videos about setups that I like with weapons and things. Right now I'm gonna do swords. So right now I have Feral Claws, which you get in um, Underground Dungeons, Lucky Horseshoe, which just negates fall damage you get in Floating Islands. Oh, I need to take those boots off, actually. Switch up my shield. Which uh, makes it so you don't get knocked back. And I've got a Demonite set, so my attack speed is insane. I like this set for the Murumasa, which is probably the best sword in the game. I mean, you could argue that the grass, the Blade of Grass or the Fiery Great Sword are better. But I like it the most, so I'm going to go down in the dungeon and show it off a little bit. Then I'll show some setups for the other two. They're essentially the same thing, except for, no, Star Fairy isn't. But they're pretty much the same thing. I like the uh, set of accessories that I have on, so. This is 35% attack speed, by the way. You can switch out, like, the horseshoe for another one if you wanted to. But it doesn't really matter immensely at this point. Because you already pretty much destroy them in a few seconds. Pretty good for a lot of enemies. Wait a minute, let me see if I can find some water candles. This one up there, but I might not need them, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down and see if we can get get a few more. Oh, I don't have any room. It's pretty good in the underworld too because um, fire imps obviously can't hit through it and you hit the serpents really quick if they come at you. Oh, and you, uh, you don't have to click every time. You can just hold it down. It's the only sword that does that. So You can open chests and things while you're swinging. For example, I probably already got this, yeah. I'll go up in a few minutes and show off the next one, or I can just switch down here, but those uh, sorcerers are kind of annoying. Uh, I'll take it. I've already been in here, of course. I think. Yeah, there. I have. There's a torch. What don't I want? I probably just dropped those because I didn't have enough room for anything. And uh, they were the least useful. Oh, and this is the ivy whip. You get this in the jungles too. You craft it out of a... Uh, what is it? A grappling hook? Um, vines. And... Jungle Roses. So that's pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna go back up and switch out. If I can find the right way back, I think it's up here. Let me see if I left anything in here. Oops, I would like that. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's not gonna work. that out real quick.
which I kind of want to go like now, but they... Oh yeah, I kind of set my spawn up there, so I will just teleport out. Alright, so um, for the Fiery Greatsword, the same thing can work. I'm going to use the Molten set, because I really haven't tried it out. I kind of got it, then didn't play for a little while. Well, I played multiplayer, but not on this character. Oops. Um, and in exchange for that, I am going to drop the shield, because it gave me a little bit more defense. I'm just going to drop that, and take up another Feral Claw, so I'm only losing 5% speed. And I get a bunch more defense. I don't think the set bonus works right now. That's glitched. Unless it got patched, which I'm fairly certain it didn't, but we'll see. And let's go on down. So this is, uh, alone without the Feral Claws or any attack speed boost. It's very slow speed, but with the claws and and things like that, it's it's pretty, it's like average. So it's pretty decent. And it does a lot of damage, so. Biggest swing length, I believe. It's about as fast as I can swing it. Nothing in here. I guess I'll take that, if I can get it. Fraps is kind of slowing me down. And that kind of sucks. I don't know if it'll show up. It probably will. Although it's only like 4 FPS less than the usual 60 that it caps at. So I don't know what's up with that kind of freezes a little bit. Oops. So I lose... I take three less damage than I did before. That probably does not have the set effect because it would be more... Although I did lose two, so... From the shield. Uh, the grass- the blade of grass is pretty much the same thing. Only it's, um... It attacks faster and it has a little bit less damage. So this would probably be a better weapon without the claws. But I really like the claws all the time with anything. Oh, and they make the pickaxe go really fast, too, so that's pretty nice. If you're uh, getting Hellstone. Oh, I went this way. I blocked it off earlier. Didn't want them behind me. So I'll go down there and mess with the fiery one a little bit more. Then I will mess with the... Uh, grass one and I'll show the star fury too but it's not that useful especially I can't use it in here at all we'll just do this and not hit anything so I guess the big advantage to this would be the really wide sweep but this does it too I don't know which one's bigger I'd assume the great starts bigger it looks bigger and I can't reach you Oh, that's lagging. So this is made from Hellstone. And uh, you get the Muramasa in dungeons. Like down here. I actually got mine in multiplayer because I couldn't find one down here. Oops. And the blade of grass is from uh, underground jungles. 
We don't want to be clicking that. Star Fury is from Floating Islands. It's kind of just a novelty, but it's really cool to like look at. Otherwise, it it's pretty terrible. Not very much is spawning right now. Usually, they're all over me. Hello there. God, they, they love spawning behind me. That being said, they, uh, they don't mind spawning in front of me either. at me. Shit. That's not really a broad idea to close these up. Although I didn't have very much, as much stuff at the time, I think I just had Demonite and uh, Face Blade. Come back here. Oh, now you turn around. Do have any bombs? No, we do not have any bombs. Oh, I don't want these walls. I'll take some bricks, though. Down we go. Okay, so I haven't really been down here too far, I don't think. Obviously been in there. But... I died a couple of times coming down here. I didn't like to come down here very much. I might actually find something. And I think there is a chest over here. Ugh, wish I had my shield on. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the blade of grass with the uh, same set of armor. It's pretty much the same thing, but it's it attacks slower. I mean, attacks faster and has a little bit less damage. So, although it's not that much more damage than the Miramasa, so it's more of a weapon until you get the other ones. I think this was the first one I got before I got the Murumasa or the... Yeah, it was before I got the other two. And then I got a phase blade before that and... A golden sword before the phase blade that I never used. Because I just would use bows instead. And I see things down there, so I'm gonna go down. And there are a lot of sorcerers now. I don't want to quite go down there yet. I guess I do. I guess that's where I'm going. Oh, I want to go in there. Yep, chest. What do we got here? Ooh, a handgun. Can get that down there. I'll probably do an episode on guns, too. And once I get the Sun Fury, I can do flails and bows. I have bows. I have all of them, I think. I don't have all of them anymore, because I sold them off. Except for the, uh, Molten Fury. What is that up there? 
Okay. Oh, is that a chest? Yay! What do we have here? Enchanted boomerang. I'm not gonna bother with it. I already have a flame ring. Nothing up there. So this dungeon's not all the way done. Maybe I'll find something worthwhile. Although I have everything. There's the offer, I think. I don't have flippers, but I'm not sure that you can get them down here. And you can get them in caves, but usually doesn't apply. Oh god. I need to go down there. Whoa. And down we go. Have we already got this? Oh, look at that. That's pretty useful. What do I want to trade for that? Oh god. Oh, I only have one of these. I'll take that. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to Miramasa, considering I don't want to uh, get raped quite yet. Any more than I have been, that is. Come on, grab something. That. Okay, so I need to make another player. What do we got down here? Ring of Regen. I kind of want that actually because I, if I get a bunch of those, you know, I have like super fast regeneration. I want that gold real bad. So I shall take that. Put that there. Oh my god. Oh, I'll leave the meteor shot. You can also close the doors when using this. So that's useful for eyeballs. Not eyeballs, they're skulls. Something down here. Oh, Aqua Scepter. Um, I already have one of those. I mean, I won't bother. And they're not really good enough to constitute me getting two of them. Anyway, I am going to get out of here. And the Star Fury, it would be nice for night. Um, it's it's really good outside. So like, if you're in a boss fight, it's pretty decent. But the thing is, you can't swing it without mana, so you have to. So if you don't have max mana, it's gonna get annoying. If you don't have potions, that too. Um, I'll show you what it does real quick. Oh, it's almost night too. So that's pretty cool. It um, it drops. Damn it! It drops stars down from where wherever your mouse is. So like, if they're right here, you'd want to hit here so the stars would hit them. And the stars do 11 damage each, and the sword does 15. And I think they do 11 damage each. I know it adds up to 41 if you hit them with everything. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, it takes 8 mana per hit. It hits at average speed. I think it's pretty cool, but... Oh, and the, the uh, stars do not actually come from the sky. They come from off screen. So... If you are inside, it can work, but it has to be a pretty open area. Otherwise, it kind of doesn't work at all and wastes your mana. Let's see what the cobalt said. I can use it for a long time. The cobalt's like the meteor, but it's um, 
It's got more defense. It's dropped by bees in the jungle. Oh, I better go back there and uh, break this real quick. Put it down there. Then go. Oops. <laughs> My spawn happens to be on a door, so whenever I spawn there, I destroy everything. And let's fix that real quick. Where's... what did I... oh. There we go. This is the house. Not everybody is in it yet. Nobody will move into this room, I don't know why. It has its own door and everything. And this is too small for anybody to move into, so... I guess they can move in here. But the druid won't move in, she's not very nice. She just wanders around, nor will the demo man, because I destroyed their houses. This is the merchant's house, I haven't fixed that yet. I need a few more blocks, I need to get dungeon color- different dungeon colors, like the uh... I have the pink, I need the green, and I think I have a world with green, yeah, but it's large so it takes like forever to go across it. I'll probably make a small one and just look for another one. What other swords are there? I don't think there's anything else that's notable really, there's Lightsbane but it's not very good at all. Um, this is a flail, but I think I'm going to do a different, a separate thing on that. So I don't think there's anything else but that. I'll find a zombie and some eyeballs and use the star fairy. And I, uh, well right now. those away this is for boss fights it's not for catching stars so like if I need to fight neither of worlds or uh, an eyeball I can just come over here and it'll it's really easy actually on the platforms because so you can shoot through them with arrows and things and guns too. So I like that. And I need a zombie now. Oh, I can just go to the corruption and that should do it. this video been 25 minutes I can upload more than 15 now so I'll just probably do it all at once and it didn't kill him you have to aim it like just right if you want all three to hit like that and if you do that it's pretty good and they do go through the enemies so you can hit like uh, groups of them it's pretty cool You just wish it, like, worked inside. I mean, I guess it could work, um, in the underworld, but you have to make sure that no blocks are under, uh, I mean, um, on screen. Excuse me. At least I think that's how it works, because I was in the dungeon. Maybe it's only if it's, like, one block, but I was in the dungeon and I couldn't see the roof and I, uh, used it and it worked just fine. But then if you go down, it's only narrow and you can't use it anymore. 
I swear the corruption should be closer than this. Because I know I forgot which way to go, and I went this way. And got to the edge of the map, and yeah, there's a corruption. And it wasn't there, so that kind of sucks. Also, you don't have to hit him with the sword to hit him with that, because it's wherever you, uh, you're pointing at. It's gonna go down at. Why are not- why aren't you up here? I don't need this. Here we go. So yeah, it's good for that. But it will, like, eat your mana up really fast. And I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.